Enable, the Belgian Development Agency, has been active in Uganda for more than 20 years. It has been supporting the government in its development agenda, mainly in the sectors of education, health, and environment. Within the Belgian-Ugandan Bilateral Corporation, the Support to the Development of Human Resources SDHR project is supporting staff development in selected organizations in the ministries of health, education, information and communication technology and national guidance, Ministry of Public Service, and water and environment. The general objective of the project is to improve service delivery by Ugandan institutions and organizations. SDHR specifically aims to increase the skills of human resources in the selected beneficiary organizations. In its first phase, 2014 to 2020, the project supported the National Curriculum Development Center, NCDC. NCDC is a government institution that is mandated to develop curricula and related curricula materials for early childhood development, ECD, primary, secondary and some tertiary institutions. It also conducts research and offers capacity building for in-service teachers through orientation. The curriculum was uh, uh, teacher-centered and the information, most of the information we were teaching had become old and obsolete. And uh, we thought that uh, we, it was time to change the curriculum to become competence-based so that we produce citizens that are employable. The support that they were offered was how to plan for how the gap was going to be closed and how to implement that plan. A number of them planned to do a long-term course in curriculum review and development. Others opted to do short-term courses uh, of five days, of ten days, and they were sponsored by the project, by the support to the development of human resources project. The support offered aimed at achieving the following goals. Timely development and implementation of quality curriculum with appropriate support materials for all education levels, pre-primary, primary, secondary, and some tertiary institutions. This would result in improved numeracy and literacy skills, better quality education output with employable skills. Curriculum aligned with societal demands leading to increased productivity, reduced poverty, reduced crime rates, and general increase in economic development. Enhanced technical knowledge of specialists in their subject areas. I had a sponsorship by Enabel, which I did in the University, uh, Open University of Tanzania and I did a master's degree in the curriculum development and these have been great resources for me to develop uh, the new curriculum. We had a training with Enabel on uh, pedagogy of integration to understand what exactly it means to integrate the different concepts and bring out a learner who is competent, who is able to um, gather all the different resources and solve a particular societal problem. The support provided by Enable contributed to the successful development and rollout of the lower secondary school curriculum that started in February 2020. The current curriculum is now supporting the production of highly skilled learners who can join the job market soon after school or even while they are still at school. Graduates will no longer be job seekers but creators once they finish school. And it is no longer about academic outputs but rather about productive Ugandans at every level of the education system. The new curriculum is in for the, an individual. We, we are here as a, a group, as a class. But my learning is on an individual basis and even assessment should be based on my individual capabilities. The old curriculum, the teacher was the centre person, the fountain of knowledge. There's this importance so much all about the teacher. But the new curriculum places the learner at the centre. Children have become very active in making income generating activities outside the academic work to the extent that they'll tell you for me i know how to bake samosas i wake up at six and i first distribute them before coming to school because we have told them because of the new curriculum i set up a chicken project and this project is becoming more success more successful because i do agriculture and my agriculture teacher and me, whenever I get a challenge in agriculture, I go ask him and he guides me 
This new curriculum, it has helped me to boost my confidence, like even teamwork. It needs you to research, you have to work as a team to complete the tasks that have been given to you by the teacher. Personally, I would like to be an automotive engineer. And pass on the new curriculum, it's helping me to have hands-on. Like those engineers have to have those hands on what they are making. And the same as new curriculum. The new curriculum, let me say, it has really given me this confidence like to talk amid these people because in class we get to present things and you talk to your classmates. So it has given me an opportunity to at least speak up. We feel more confident now with the trainings we have had in assessment, in textbook writing, in syllabus development, uh, developing the competences. The trainings that we've had with Enabel have been very helpful. They, we've been skilled on how to, like I mentioned, on how to um, design our curriculum to come up with those different competencies, but also our facilitation skills. Because when you go out there, we are the ones training or orienting the teachers. So when you don't understand the concept, it's really hard, but we've been able to understand this pedagogy of integration. And thanks to Enabel, we are now taking a proper route on assessment.